Good day everyone, and welcome to episode 40 in the Mad Tower Tycoon series. And uh, we're starting off with Douglas Salomo. And uh, Douglas is just giving us a demonstration of his moves that he's going to use when he goes clubbing tonight. Um, now whatever moves they are, Douglas, they're pretty hip. Um, but I would really suggest that you stay in your condominium and practice them. Uh, so that, that's that's pretty good, except the girls walk straight past Douglas, so that may be indicative of how the night at the club's going to go. But anyway, we're here, and uh, we're going to be doing some things. In our last episode, actually, we said that we would come over here to our office block, and we'd have a look at doing something in here, which we had already started we actually had we started i can't recall if we had uh, i think we might just have a little squeeze here at some sound whoa i'm gonna go with that's not a good look no we we whoa we got sound issues in there man did i did i not redevelop any of that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, one, two, three, four, five. No, I think I did. But that's not encouraging. That is not encouraging at all. No, I don't think I've done terribly much with this. Let's have a let's have a look at offices for a quick minute, because we may need to do some redevelopment here. Sound is there, sound is more, and sound is a lot. Mm. Right, well, that's, that's, that's encouraging. Of course it's encouraging. I'm encouraged. Aren't you encouraged? You would be, wouldn't you? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's it. So I think I did that, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not happy with the way that's turned out, actually. So I think we might be doing some redevelopment in there, and I think the first redevelopment we're going to do is with the magic trash can. Now, what is that? Oh, that's a small office. Um, so we're going to do that. And you know what? Let's get rid of those stairs while we're at it. Right, so we're doing that. And then we're going to get rid of the entirety of this floor. Because, I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? Please tell me it's obvious. <laughs> I would hate to be doing this and find out later that it was not obvious. So we're going to go small because small produces less noise. And we're going to leave a space in there. Like so. Now what have I done over there? There you go, a space like so. It is complaining about high passenger traffic. Day two of the week. Yes. I have a very sadly, strangely, wonderfully, almost peculiar feeling that that is going to be true. So... we do that we and and we're guessing now I mean this is all guess the worker guess the worker murka durka I uh, don't think that's what we wanted to do no it wasn't the magic trash can thank you we need a gap 
and the gap looks remarkably like that. Then I think we need a medium, because who doesn't like medium, frankly? Medium is just what you want. Did I leave two? Oh, no, no, I left one. Well, that's okay. Now, I think... Yeah, I think we should put a fire door in there. I just... Just a feeling. You know, just like a feeling. Uh, now, I'm not sure... Actually, I might put it on this side. Now, what have we got? La big, small, 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 medium. I think I could fit another medium in there. So two meters, small, small, medium. And small, small. Now, we don't want to be putting another medium in there because of the noise it will make. So we could put another small, and they line up quite nicely, actually, with that. And then we could be putting two smalls there. Who doesn't think that's a great idea? Well, as it turns out, there might be some some random number of us who feel that that's not an ideal circumstance. But as it turns out, the guy who owns the building gets to pick the architect. And so there you have it, everyone. It is, as they say, what it is. Um, and I still don't get, oh, oh, new level tenants, oh, look at the experience points, boom, boom, 230k just for leveling up, nice, oh, levels, points, skills, all sorts of things. Uh, we have a choice of two. We have the slumlord. You get a rental bonus of 3%. Man, that's going to... Oh, no, we got... Did we get that? I think I just took that, and I didn't want to. Cleaning devil. You don't have enough skill... Anyway, I got a raise of 3%. Stairs and long weights on elevators generate 5% less stress. Okay, well, I'm happy with that. 3% more revenue. It's not bad. Average stress level is 44%. Wow. Okay, we are going to have to do something about that. Uh, 4 a.m. in the morning. Right, we are, we were, we are, we were doing things. Right, so, if that's the big office and they're the little offices, and that will be the big office, that will be the little office, so that, that will be the next big office will be under the laundromat. Ah, uh, this is going to work out well, don't you feel? Possibly you do, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm going to go with, of course you do, small, small, medium, small, small, medium, right. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Small, space, small, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's easier to count to three than it is to count six. I'm just putting it out there for you all. One, two, three. There you go. One, 
two, three, lob, um, lobby, I keep calling it a lobby, not a lobby, it's a waiting room. And then it's got a security camera next to it. And if my memory serves me correctly, a fire door. So that we for once are going to not endanger the occupants of our wonderful establishment. Is there another small there? So there is. Well, well, well. Well, I'm fine, thank you very much. How are you? And there's another one down there. No, yes, no, I think I've just messed that up. Large, small, large, small. So what does small look like? Small, medium. Ah, oh, medium. 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 Uh, medium, medium, and quite possibly two smalls. Oh, I just think we've made a plan come together. There you go. Now, it turns out that that's the server room. That's the toilet, that's the laundry. And even though it's all fitting on one room, that's the Chinese restaurant. Even though it's all fitting on one room, we're going to leave it at two because we have a plan that includes two floors for something. Well, whatever it is, we have two floors set aside for it. Some people, and we don't know who those people are, call it support services. Other people call it ancillary operations. But we call it the two floors. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that. Neat and tidy. Thank you. Now, what's the name of the most famous cleaner in the world? That's a good question, actually. Why don't cleaners become famous? It's a skill. And if you're really good at it, it's a very important skill to have. I would imagine that the people who clean Her Majesty's home are actually extremely good at what they do. And I would also be tempted to say they would have an unbelievable eye for detail, um, which is not, uh, not a bad trait to have, actually, in all sorts of occupations. There you go. There's five. So let's do five because this is where we're at, big office. Now, interestingly enough, nine o'clock in the morning and we've got a thousand visitors, but I am still not sure if a visitor is a visitor or someone who uses the tower, like comes in here to work and all that sort of thing. Not at all clear to me what that is, but I'm suspecting Well, I'm hoping, actually, not suspecting, but I'm hoping that as we increase the number of offices and things that we've got, we're going to get way more visitors. But, of course, I don't know for sure that that's the case, but I would like to think it's the case. Um, right, so big, then we go too small. And so far, I feel that everyone is on board with this program. Next to the big, next to the big, next to the big, we have one, 
two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Love the sound of the rain. And uh, I also love the sound of the rain in, um, in the real world as well. Even storms can be pleasant. Um, now, you would be surprised to know that they're two mediums. I knew you'd be surprised to know that. And I say they're two mediums on the basis that we're hoping that this works out uh, career-wise, and that's a small career-wise, well, build-wise. There you go. Now, along here, we've got some fire doors, so we're going to, we're just going to follow the pattern. Um, you know, one of the one of the signs of um, systems check. Ooh, systems checking that they do in IT, of course, is pattern matching. To be able to identify patterns in things is quite an important uh, skill, not only in IT but also in the real world in general. It's one of the things, of course, that law enforcement agencies also use, um, which is why criminals that don't change their modus operandi, just throwing it a bit of jargon there, are more easily identified and caught than those who are changing and adapting all the time. Uh, this is not, by the way, a channel for Criminal 101, but I'm just saying that's one of those little things that you pick up as you go through life. And I just put a thing there which I didn't want to put there, i.e. a waiting room on one of our service levels. Don't mind putting the security cameras there though, but that's, that's okay. It's all right. Everyone remain calm. Calm is what we want to do especially as we put the big office in the corner with the window seat. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. No, that's not right. And it's not right because I've just put everything in the wrong place. That's why it's not right. Got to remember there's an extra floor there. Help, help, I can count. Sometimes I can count. But not all the time it appears. One, two, three, four, five. That makes a little bit more sense. You would hope. You would hope, wouldn't you? You would. Yeah, you would. Well, I'm going to tell you, buddy. You don't need hope. You need some misery and depression like everybody else. And it's very possible that we can deliver that. All you've got to do is walk outside and get involved with the real world. That'll fix you. Uh, we're ripping into the, uh, re uh, not the retail space, we're ripping into the office space a bit better than we did with the apartments. Uh, and that's encouraging because we, we did struggle a little bit with the apartments um, in terms of the time it took to get things laid out. But um, we had a bit more of a complicated thing with those which, of course, begs the question, should we have simplified? Ah, good question. Glad you asked that. I 
no idea. But if you come back in, oh, I don't know, 10 more floors or so, we'll probably know. All right, we're done. There you go. That was pretty cool. Mind you, it, it's the, it's not as wide as our apartments. Look at the size of that. Holy dooly. That's, that's fair decent. That is fair decent. Hmm. We only really need one waiting room on the whole floor. Well, you know what? We got oop, bah. We got two now. But there you go. Okay, so uh, we've got a whole pile of stuff over here ready to go, up to and including floor or something. You want to know what floor this is? Uh, you can't see it because of that. Floor, up to and including floor, 24. Man, we've got a way to go. All right, we could be doing apartments. We could also be getting rid of these, I think, which we might do a little bit of right now. Um, and we're going to get rid of what's behind there as well because that's just the way we roll. I love how the whole building shakes when you take the magic trash can to things and they just remove everything from your sight. Okay, so now let's have a look condominium wise. We've got eighteen million dollars. We're not short of a buck, are we? So we can do three big, eight middle, and eight small. Wonder if noise is an issue over here. Sorry, I'm just gonna check the noise because no oh, yeah. Right. So don't put middles. Okay, don't put middles on top of everybody. How about we do this? I think that could work as a way forward. But I also think that given some previous experience with noise and building things, we might want to wait and see how that pans out. Meanwhile, look at the noise in the waiting room. I wonder if that's related I wonder if that's related to that elevator that's going up and down there. Um, but doesn't seem to be. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to continue. Wow, that is... That makes a lot of noise. Doesn't... Wow, it really does. Now, um, that's all good. We've done that. And that's our reception and our cleaning. Now, we've gone one, two, three, four, five. You know what I think we should do? I think we should jam in, and I use that term advisedly. Um, we should jam in. some more floorage so that we could oh, and in actual fact we could go up 5, 10, 12 1 oh, of course it's not going to do that because it's a sky lobby 
Great. So one, two, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, that is a decent construction. So one, two, three, four, five, and then one and two. So here's what we're going to do. Those two, those two are the ancillary service floors. So we need a restroom. All right, let's go and do this because it's what we do. Restroom. Security. Security, security, security. Um, I'm going to go with um because it's the hotel reception smackly bangly in the middle of the world on the first second second level and last but by no means least hotel cleaning Hotel cleaning. Everyone got hotel cleaning? Got hotel cleaning. Right. There you go. Uh, and I'm going to bring the big lift all the way up to the top. Big lift, right. Big lift. Big lift. Big lift, big lift, big, big lift, big lift. Hang on, why doesn't it like the big lift? Ah, there you go. We had what might loosely be described as a glitch. Okay, now, we've got one, stop that, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. Well, you know what? We might we might be getting some issues. We might get issues one. Two three four one two three five next floor double rooms so far so good everyone so far Why? Skylobies! Okay, so it's not going to be... It's not going to be the double room. It's going to be single rooms again. 
Uh, had me worried there for a minute. Couldn't build stuff. Ooh, very concerning. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. One, two, three, so that was the, hang on, that was the double, that's the single, and then what have we got? Okay, everyone. Okay, focus, please. Well, we got that. We got a whole. We got two uh, rows of singles. Oh, okay. Well, easy enough to do. And. Then we have three sweets on each side. Ooh, sweets. Gap between sweets is one. Yep. And there you go. And that was actually, you know what, pretty good going. So if we start that line again, after there, we've got we've got the singles again. So we can just we can just keep doing this and get up there a bit more because we can. So we've got one, two. Three, four, five. Oh, see, clever. Five. That's a big number for me. Now, after this one. We actually have the double rooms, and we get three double rooms with two between them, which is interesting. Three double rooms with two between them. One, two. One, two. One, one, one two. One, two. Of course, just very quickly spotting an issue that we might have here. But it's like we can't have any lifts going up here, but that seems okay. We can deal with that. So we've got doubles, and then we get two rows of singles. So what we might need to do, just to make sure that we've got this covered, is do this. Because they basically only come out to the same distance. So two rows of singles coming up. Um, but I think we'll just come over here so we can keep an eye on things. One, two, three, four, five. Two rows of those. One. Two. And again. The good thing about having models to follow is that you don't have to rethink everything. You can just keep laying it out. Now, of course, if the models that we've created here are valid, because bearing in mind that we basically built them for sound, and then we've got the suites for one row, and that takes us up an entire section there. Look at the noise, just climb up there. 
Okay. We need to fill in with floors. Oh, maintenance costs one hundred and sixty-seven thousand dollars. That's not cheap. No, it is not. Now we're going to go back to the big lift. Big lift. Maintenance cost is 56, but you know what? We can do it. And hopefully this is going to bring our construction guys all the way up here so they can build things. And that should be it. Now we haven't put the waiting rooms in. But I really, really, really want to see what happens when those ones down here, these ones down here are built. And of course, all this is built. So that's quite a bit. 18 million in the bank, 1,000 visitors. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. And it's, we've got, uh, we've got four minutes till we hit the 40 minute mark. So let's just see if we can see how many visitors we're likely to get. It'd be good to keep a track of this because I'd like to be able to see the visitor numbers going up, frankly. Let's just check our rooms for a minute. Loud noise, high pollution, restroom, laundrette. Oh, I don't think I put a laundrette in. Did I put a laundrette in? I don't think I did. All right, we might have to look at that again. But we've got the space. We have less space for all that sort of stuff. So we should be good. But certainly an extra one. Well, now, what have we got here? We've got five, ten, roughly eleven. No, eleven, nine. We've got nine floors of hotel rooms going in. That's certainly going to help the bottom line. And it's still fascinating that they that there doesn't seem to be a an order, much of an order in the way they build things. There must be something going on there, but I don't know what it is. Now, um, let's just go down here for a second and have a look at the decor. Now, the decor gives us quality of living. And I don't think there's much... No, there's none. What it is is just different graphics that you can use to produce the same thing. A lion statue, a dragon statue, and a Greek antique statue. Looks more like a gargoyle than a Greek antique. Glowing balloons. Sure, why not? And artwork. I do like the artwork. So I think... Uh, I th Wow, look at all this noise. Actually, you know what? What brings in, now just a quick question, but what does bring in uh, visitors? And what is the actual category that they call visitors? Well, we've asked this question before. I think we might have to take this one offline and have a look. What are you doing? What's your problem? But are you waiting? Henrik, waiting for the lift. There you go, Henrik. Very good. Well, you know what? It's all there. Now, hang on a sec. 1,100 visitors, 8.30 at night. 1,100. 1,100 at 8.30 at night. Well, you know what? There you go. We've done pretty well this episode, everyone. We've got, uh, we've got a whole new section of office space just chugging along the game room in the office space 10 customers whoa look at the money I wonder if you can track visitors just hang on a second just hang on a second range of banks servers conference rooms blah de blah bunk dunkers toilets laundrettes restaurants hotel reception Hotel cleaning, fire extinguishers, maintenance. Amount of people, well, hold, hold that thought, amount of people. 
indicates pollution, security, quality of living, satisfaction, rental bonus, rental price, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the only thing we've got really is people. Now, what does red mean? Does red mean too many people or not enough people? What, what does the red mean? What does the no sign mean? Ah, red means that's where most of them go. Now, of course, they would. most of them would go in the staircase. That makes sense. Where are the attractions? See, the, the attractions don't have that many. 13 customers, and yesterday we had 11. And there's hardly anybody there. It's not even yellow. This is red. Man, this section here is red. Holy dooly, look at that. Wow. I can see that. Wow, I can really see that. That's that's impressive. I think we just stick some more... Uh, I'm going to stick... Well, stick may be the wrong answer, but put. I can build another metro station if I want. Well, that's encouraging, isn't it? Are you encouraged? Well, you should be. One, two, or two, three, four, five. See, it still, still can count. Another floor of um, car parks will be very good for everyone who wants to come and spend time in our beautiful place. And there's... Wow, look at that. That's not good. No, it is not. Not in good at all. We need to bring the two by lift down there. Two by big lift. Can we do two by big lift or just two by lift? Two by lift, I think it is. I don't know if I'm helping the problem or just making it worse. There is every chance that we're making it worse by doing that. And also, we're spending a ton of money. But, but, if you were going to spend a ton of money, oh, look what I've just done. I think that's a great idea, actually. And I'm going to do this. Um, am I? I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. And hopefully some of these guys will go up there and use the other lifts. Well, isn't that fascinating? They're... Oh, okay, they're splitting it up. All right, cool. Well, we've helped. Solve the problem? I'm not sure, but help. See, some of them are actually coming up here to wait. Hmm. And I don't know how good a solution that is actually going to be. Yeah, well. We're moving people, so that's good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've, we've passed the 40-minute mark. We've done... a. Uh, a very good job over here in retail land. Although I really don't like every time that red shows up. But we've done a really good job over here in retail land. Uh, and we're looking really solid. And we've done some excellent work in our hotel. And we've set up a completely new section. And that is going extremely well. We have also done 
a little bit over here, which I we wanted to check out in respect of noise, uh, but we haven't sold everything yet, so we need to be a little patient and wait to see how that works. So, oh, I didn't extend the lift. Um, I think I should extend the lift because I should extend the lift. Um, how about just to there for now um, and see how we go. But thank you very much, everyone, for joining me today. I hope you have enjoyed the episode, and I, I hope you're seeing progress and learning some tricks that you can use in your own version of the game if you're so inclined to play. And uh, it's exciting, and it's a very enjoyable game, actually. We are, gosh, 40 episodes in and still getting a lot out of it and still finding it very challenging come back. Actually, you know what I haven't said for a long time? I haven't said please like the video and please subscribe if you haven't done so already. As you can see, we're getting new experience points just by saying goodbye to each other. So until then, which of course is our next episode, stay well and I will catch you all later. Bye.